Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you the Keurig K Elite. I've had a lot of viewers say that their ad water light does not come on, or it comes on and stays on. So we're going to take this K Elite apart and see if we can see what causes the ad water light not to come on. So here's the ad water light. Mine is on right now because I do have the reservoir is empty. Um, I have had that problem on this one before, so I am going to take it apart. We're also just going to show you what how it works on the inside and see if there's anything else we can fix. This is a very good machine, but probably the number one uh, thing I see in my comments is the add water light. Okay, so I got the reservoir off, the drip tray. We got it unplugged. We're gonna leave it unplugged for the duration of this. So on the bottom of this, I am gonna take all the screws out. Looks like here, 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 here. Okay, so I've got all the screws out. Nothing's really coming apart yet. So we got to get this outer cover off. Okay, so there's a screw right here. I'm going to take this screw out. So something to keep an eye on. See this hole? That's a vent hole, I bet. Keep a, so That thing may be plugged. That may be going to our add water sensor. So I think we're going to come back to this in the future. So on the bottom, I am seeing these, these there's two big tabs. There's a tab here and a tab here that we got to undo. And then you got to kind of force it a little bit, but hopefully by the time we get this done, I'm going to show you the easy way. Okay, so I've been prying all around this. This seems like the easiest spot to start. So this, I could kind of get my pry in here and we're undoing some hooks there. Okay, so then this part is wanting to come up. Okay, so I got some of it. So prying that piece off, this is what it looks like for right now. So, so be careful. Even with it unplugged, this, this tank right here is still, still really hot. Okay, so next, let's try up here. Again, I don't know that I recommend taking this apart or not, but we're going to take it apart just to see. Yeah, these pop off. Keep coming around to this side. If you can find the tab and push it in. Okay, so you can, once you got this front cover off, you can see those, there's tabs in there that you can press with a screwdriver, press that tab, that'll release it, and then you can pry this part up. Okay, so this is taking a lot of work. I don't recommend taking this apart. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get it back together, but it is. The biggest holdup was right here. There was a tab that just did not want to break loose. Okay, so this kind of comes off as an assembly. This piece pretty much stays, I think. Same with this. Okay, so here's the add water sensor. Now, this piece did come flying off when I was prying this off, and I'm pretty sure it goes right here. That's that little opening that I said was poking out. That's a vent. I'll bet that vent gets blocked on a lot of people. So this little piece was right there, and that's a, that has to be open to the vent, uh, the, the outside air. And I bet it gets clogged, like a bug could go in there, or dirt, or dust, or something. But you can see it's a 90 degree elbow. And right on the other side of it is this tube. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate why this tube is so important. So this sits like that. That has to be open. So let's explain. Again, here's the here's that tube goes to the top of this add water sensor. So here we have the reservoir. When you put the water reservoir in, the water is going to come, and it's going to go down in here. It's going to go two places. It's going to go either to the add water sensor or it's going to go to the pump. This little device, I'm not sure what that is, but if you follow it, it goes over to the pump, and that's the water that actually goes and makes your coffee. The water that goes to the add, sen add water sensor does not make your coffee. So in real basic terms, as the water goes up and down in the water reservoir, it's going to go up and down in this tube. And that's what these two wires are for. So when the water gets down below the two wires, it's going to turn the add water light on. When the water gets above the two wires, it's going to put the add water light out. So you may have like an air pocket in here or, or something that's just keeping the water in here and not letting the water come down. 
because a lot of the complaints are my ad water light doesn't come on. So if your ad water doesn't light come on, that means there's water in this tube probably, or the sensor could be blocked up or something going on with that sensor. Here's what it looks like up close. So I'm gonna to try to get the camera positioned. So when I've got when you've got the water reservoir on, again, even the water reservoir, even the water reservoir kind of covers that a little bit. But as the water is gonna go up and down, I'm gonna to try to get the camera to where we can see the water in that tube. Okay, so I'm not really gonna be able to show you this tube, but as we put water in. Okay, so I am gonna be able to show you. So I put water in. Okay, so as I take the, so I took, I, I put the water reservoir on. I took it off. Now there's water in that tube. Now, if you watch me press this little plunger, you'll see the water came out. It was all the way up here and it came out. It came out of here. And now that add water light's gonna come on. So that, that sim, I just simulated as the water goes down in the reservoir, the add water light should come on. So if my add water light come, didn't come on, I would make sure that that vent right there, I would not take this assembly off the back. So this machine, again, I got, I got it unplugged. We're gonna take a look around. Seems very well built. It's kind of an older school one. Here you got your water pump down at the bottom. Here's the air pump. And then the great big heating tank is right there. Right there, smack dab in the middle. Again, that gets really hot, be careful. So I, I do think I see a thermostat. It's not resettable or anything. It looks like it's right up against the water tank underneath this clamp. So it probably just opens up and you have to replace it. it looks like it wouldn't be too hard to replace, but I haven't heard of any problems with the thermostat opening up. Here's the tubing. I don't see zip ties on the tubing, so you could have had a tube come loose. Here's the control board. Doesn't look like a fuse or anything you can reset on it. So pretty simple machine. You've got, like I said, again, water's gonna come in, it's gonna go to the add water sensor or it's gonna go to this box. I'm not sure what that box does, but it goes that way to the pump. There's the water pump. And then from the water pump, it outputs it to the bottom of the heating tank. And then it comes out the top of the heating tank, comes over here. So from the top of the heating tank, it looks like it goes right to the K-cup. Right to the K-cup. And then you've got the air pump. Keurigs typically have an air pump. So this here's the air pump. And towards the end of the brew, it's going to turn the air pump on. You know it's an air pump because there's just an output. There's no water intake and output. So air comes up here, goes into the top of the tank to kind of clean out the top of the tank and the tubes to get the rest of the water out of the tubing. So this Keurig was heavily used. I bought this one used and it was very used. I don't see any kind of buildup in the tubing of mold or anything that looks remotely dirty. So the K Elite is one, is one of the loudest Keurig machines and that's just the water. This is, it's got water inside here and it's boiling that water so it'll be ready to brew it. Now water does stay in here, even though after you do your brew, there is water left in that tank. So it's good that we descale these. And up here where the needle basket is, I don't recommend taking any of this apart. This is a bag of worms up here, taking, taking anything to do with, there is some screws, but I don't recommend taking any of that apart. There's the needle. I've got a video on how to clean that with a paper clip. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna put mine back together. And I'll see, let's see how it goes. So probably one of the hardest things to get back together is that vent for the add water light. It keeps falling off, falling off as I try to put this together and then I gotta take it out. So I'm probably not gonna put mine back together. It's being really difficult. Um, I'm gonna leave it apart for demonstration purposes. So I really don't recommend taking this one apart. I didn't see much you could repair. Just make sure this vent is nice and clean. 
I mean, I think you could take a little brush and just kind of make sure it's nice and clean. It does have a 90 degree elbow, so it is hard to get down in there. Thanks everybody for watching. This is a very reliable machine. I don't have many people saying they have many problems with it um, other than the add water light. So thanks everybody for watching.